Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moves to Roll here, here for another reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribed, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watchers, grab a seat. Alright, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued lovely likes, comments, and shares, and continued subscription to my channel. We're almost at 1K, guys. Um, you know... I appreciate when it resonates and that y'all having faith that I can guide you even when it doesn't resonate to a path of understanding and knowing that when you do go through these, um, you know, tests of life, that's how I call it, tests of life, okay? When you go through all these tests, okay, it's, it's the divine trying to test your strength. To see who you are and what you're capable of. And know what you deserve and what you don't deserve. I think I've I've been stating this um, and, I, and I'm continuing to say it for every sign that I, I, I tend to do a reading for. For the, um, for the month of October. Losing someone or an ending of a relationship is not the end. It's not a loss. Okay? It's not a loss. You got to really ask yourself, what is it that you learn from it? Okay? And it's crazy. Because most of us will do that and beat ourselves up. with Without realizing you're putting more burden on your healing. You're beating yourself up for things that it takes two to tango. So if one can't, the other one will become unbalanced. So sometimes separation doesn't mean for eternity. Sometimes separation doesn't mean for that long. Oh, it's the end of the world. Sometimes people do need, you know, to be apart, to understand what it means to be with someone. Okay? Nourishing, understanding won't take the person for granted. Okay? This is all what goes on in separation. What I mean, I, I, I'm hoping that people don't take it, take it as a loss. Sometimes you really do need to grow apart. And I feel like this is, you know, that's something that I just had to say. Like, I just had to say. And it's for somebody out there. All right? Okay, Sagittarius. Um, universe, it's like I'm stuck. Like, it's not that I'm stuck. It's just, it's just so much that I, I know is going to come out of this reading. Because I feel like some of y'all Sagittarius are hurting. You know, you're hurting because you feel like you're not getting your person back. Being with you physically seems so easy, so right. Why do we have trouble communicating verbally? Let's just talk, okay? You or your person simply wants to come to an agreement, come to an establishment, but y'all like, failing to get there, to compromise, because... Most people, when they're going through, you know, um, disputes with their, you know, their person, the way they try to defend themselves, it becomes un insulting. So nobody now, the other person just blacked you out, just blocked you out. Okay, they don't, they, they can't even hear you right now. Cause someone can he, like 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 someone let's say let, let's say this someone can actually hear you because that's what we do right even when we don't want to hear uh, the trash uh, the trash man coming with his trash truck or the lawn the lawn um people mowing mowing their lawn we don't want to hear it but we hear it and that's what most people do. When they're in, a, in an argument, it's like they hear it, but they tune you out. 
Because now you done crossed the line and now they really don't care about what you have to say, how you feel, you or, or nothing. And then they go, have, have, like, it's like people listen to respond. They don't listen to actually listen to their person. And I feel like you guys clash when it comes to communication because it always goes left. And the reason why it goes left because someone is still immature because of what they still keep. And this is why they go through certain relationships the way they go through. Okay? It's because they're childish. They don't know when to say when. When to be vulnerable and and hold yourself accountable. It's okay. I guarantee you the relationship, the love will grow even more fonder due to the fact of compromising, understanding that I too can be wrong. If there is somewhere else you'd rather be, please go there. When we are together, you have my full attention. Okay? This person wants to win you back. Whatever it is that they try to refrain themselves from doing, they want you back. They just don't know if they can live up to your expectations. Because y'all guys go through this you know, this scale, this this one moment y'all good, then the next minute y'all y'all worse. It's like when it's good, it's good, and when it's bad, it's like very awkward. Okay? Very awkward. And then and it could be very very much you, you know, basically telling your person. Okay? Telling your person if they rather like you love them enough for them to go. You love them enough to do what it is that's best for them. Even if it's sac if even if it means sacrificing your heart and your feelings and putting that aside. If you don't call that growth, I don't know what is. But also, we must not if we know that it's something that we can salvage, let's not give up so rapidly. This is where the compromising and understanding, not only understanding that you're a person, you're also understanding yourself. Because this person that you're dealing with wasn't the last person that you was dealing with, even the next person that you was dealing with before that person that you was dealing with. Hopefully you got me there. <laughs> okay? Like, it's, 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 it's. It's a, it's a feeling. It's a it's a different feeling that you have for each individual, and you take something with it. Sometimes we go through, you know, baggages from past relationships, and we drag it to the next. And this is why we repeat the same karmic cycle. But you rather your person do what they need to do because you know for a fact. If things could be the way you want it to be, you would be with your person. And I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling it. Like, my energy, like, I could feel, you know, a, a sense of, like, you know, vulnerability. A little sadness here and there. I'm going to hold you in the energy of the last love and embrace we had. Okay? Someone's not letting go despite what they feel may be the outcome. Someone has faith. And to whoever it is, cross watchers, Sagittarius, if it's one, either one of you, have faith. Your intuition, what it is that you hold. And I'm telling you, some most separations grow the hot fonder. Just say what's on your mind. It's better than this silence. Because whether you realize it or not, admit it or not, we are still communicating in some way in this void. You hear this? Energy is serious. Just like the last card, thank you for confirmation. Like, the energy is serious between y'all two. I think sometimes y'all minor hiccups becomes big because y'all love language can sometimes conflict with one another. It can. 
and you're starting to, you know, realize that the love that you have for this person, trying to find it in someone else right now is unmatched. So you don't even want to go through the hassle. So that's what also burdens you because you don't want to feel like the moment that you continue to be without this person, the moment you start to feel like you're slipping and they're, you know, and or they're slipping and there's so many questions of what ifs and was this person the, the one that got away? But I feel a part of y'all Sagittarius, the fire in y'all, you or your person is not, this is not over. Y'all not ready to let this go. There's just way too much love here to just go to waste however however i hope you guys take this time apart not as an ending see this is why i knew what i said and i'm telling you like thank you confirmation i know why i said what i said in the beginning separation does not mean it's the end. And the end does not mean it's a loss. Have faith in what it is you want. Be firm to the universe on what you want. And if it's not for you, still have faith. Don't lose hope. Not just talking about this person, but lose hope and lose faith in finding love. Or knowing love will find you. It's not a loss. You gain something out of it. And if it means. A wisdom. You know. A, a, a lift of you. Then that's what it is. Be strong Sagittarius. This is not over yet. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Till next time, Sagittarius. Peace.